There is an epidemic of massive proportion happening right now around the world. Every day it spreads to thousands, and with no cure in sight, it's only a matter of time till everyone on the planet is infected with politics. While we have endured outbreaks of politics before, this year looks to be the one that may end us all. Because this is an election year. Uh, yeah, I I've already caught it. I'm full on politics at this point. I'm checking all the polls. How about that caucus? That shit was crazy, huh? I watched the whole impeachment trial. The whole thing. It was so boring. Why did I do that? Well, it's because I've caught politics. And today I'm going to show you some of the best ways to quarantine yourself from this illness so that you don't get sick like me. And maybe along the way I can learn how to forget about this shit for like 10 minutes. Well, let's see if we can avoid politics in video games. Oh, uh, you know what? I better put on my face mask so I don't get these guys sick. Uh, yes. Hello, brothers. How are we doing today? Shut the fuck up. Hello. Bro. Excuse me, brother. Oh, stop being mean. Let's start again. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, brother. Okay, maybe you should shut the fuck up. God, I, I hate this fucking game. You know what? Fuck this game. New game. New year, new game. All right, here we go. Hello, boo, come here. Hello, brother. Both of you blue back. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, brother. I did not know friendly fire was on. The carcass was rigged against burning rights. You suck at this game, pussy bitch. Uh, yes, the fire rises. <coughs> oh, ew, I burped in it. Ew, I burped in it. Ew. All right, so you're sick of politics, I'm sick of politics, everybody's getting sick all over the place and it's making us all angry and tired. Why don't we focus on the things that make us happy? Unless you're a politician, in which case oil money is what makes you happy, you fucking parasite. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the fever talking. Anyway, when I'm sick, nothing makes me feel better than a nice hot bowl of soup. How to Eat Chunky Soup by Feature Man and play. I became somewhat addicted to vegetable beef soup. Uh, the smaller cans, the regular size cans of vegetable beef soup. After a friend of mine showed me how he made vegetable beef soup every day. Oh yeah, this is what I needed. Just a sweet older fella telling you how to be thrifty with your soups. Cabbage, put in there. And this is a pretty low cost meal. Cabbage costs 59 cents a pound where I shop. God bless this man, providing sanctuary for folks who just want to see something wholesome instead of worrying about the state of the country for a change. Thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. No politics here. This man is just too pure for me to handle. He deserves all the love. We must protect him no matter what the cost. Is he in danger? Iran wants to take his soup away. Uh, no, don't. Don't do it, guys. Okay, Boomer. I refuse to let Iran take his soup away. Trump is working to eliminate social security and weaken low-cost health care. Work to protect him. Ah, shit, they did it. They made it political. You're not protecting anyone. This joke is stale. Fuck off. Wow, that is so rude. Coming into this man's comment section and just sneezing politics all over the place. And as you can see in the later stages of the infection, the argument has just devolved into calling each other gay. Well, it might be too late to stop the politics from spreading in here, but I'm still gonna try, goddammit. Yeah, hey, could you guys knock it off with the politics? We're all here for the soup recipe, not to watch you relive Thanksgiving dinner with your racist stepdad. You idiots can make a dog funeral political. Just because the only synapse is firing through your smoothed out brain or poll numbers and how everyone who doesn't like your candidate is an evil shill, that doesn't mean you can come take a gross shit in this comment section where other people are just trying to learn how much cabbage to put in their chunky soup. Count me in the caucus crowd to have all you fired off into deep space where it'll take hundreds of years for your transmissions of whining hootenanny to reach us. While you're up there, maybe you can search the endless cosmos for a goddamn clue. Because the only thing you're accomplishing right here on Earth is to make anyone with a similar political standpoint as you worry that maybe they sound like a bag of dildos as well. Anyway, to get this shit back on track, my favorite chunky soup is clam chowder and don't vote for Pete Buttigieg, he's CIA and post. Oh, Fuck! No, I just spread politics right at the end there, too. Uh, that's my bad. That's gonna infect a lot of people. Man, I gotta be more careful in the future. You know what I need? I need a hobby. That'll get my mind off politics. And you know, I, I, I've always wanted to be a poker player. There's just something about sitting down at that table with your hands full of chips, looking at all your opponents in the eyes, and just playing a gentleman's game right there. I, oh, I could smell the cigar smoke just thinking about it. You know what? I'm gonna play a quick hand. Follow me. And there we are. Hey there, fellas. Fancy a game of poker? I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm Come on, on fucking probation right now. I'm not doing it. Ah, probation? What, what are you on probation for? He's on probation. Same shit. Well, what were you saying? Same bad shit. I'm done. Ah. 
What'd you say though? Oh, I want to say it. Please let me say it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Let, let him say it. Is, Greg is Greg is God, and he will. I do not say anything. Come on, say it. God, I want to fucking shut his life down. I'm gonna dox your bitch ass. I swear to God, if he lets me dox you, I'll dox the fuck out of you. Get out of the I haven. swear to God, I'll I'll shut your whole life down. I'm gonna dox your mom and your sister and your Chat. brother. You're gonna what? Chat. He's on a residential IP address. I don't know what that means. All your yeah. ports on your fucking router are open, you idiot. They are? How do I close those? I swear to God, I'm gonna dox the Stop. fuck out of you. Stop. Stop. Yeah, listen to this old bitch. I crazy. can let you know who what his name is. His real Cole. name is. Oh, which one? I got a lot of names. Well, I have to dox you. Oh, well, well, never mind. Don't do that. Just yeah. let no. me dox him. Let me dox no. him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I whoa, don't no. do anything crazy, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You're not on Let a VPN, by the way, and you're retarded. Uh, what? He's not on a VPN. He's Amen. fucking wide open. I should have used NordVPN.com slash Big Money. Well, I'll tell you, I sure wish I had been using NordVPN.com slash Big Money just now, and I could have avoided this guy ransoming my dick pics to me. But I shouldn't be surprised, as any website you visit nowadays is keeping track of you and building a profile to sell you your own version of the internet. Just take a look at CNN, which also happens to be one of many news sites that acts as a disease-spreading vector for politics. Eh, just a bunch of clickbait bullshit. Eric finds stepsister porn, jerks off to it anyway. Okay, now that's a little specific. Eric Googles how to measure butthole while shopping for pineapples. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this news website is using my data to push very specific news stories I might be interested in instead of just whatever news they have available. Health Bulletin, pineapples put in butt found to dissolve vital organs. Oh shit, that's good to know, but hey, wait, I still don't like getting specific news stories. That's creepy, so let's see what happens when I turn on today's sponsor, nordvpn.com slash big money, and connect from an Italian server. Boop! And refresh page, and boom, look at that. All the politics are quarantined to this tiny little zone now. CNN has no fucking idea who I am. And all these articles are just kind of like normal. Waters near Thai Island attract unusual marine species. Uh, yeah, saving that bitch for later. NordVPN.com slash big money has thousands of servers in nearly 60 different countries and works on up to six devices at once, including Android and iOS. Holy shit, and here's what Fox News looks like when you connect from France. That's yeah, just sexy photos of hunks. Can't beat that. Now let's see what happens when I turn off NordVPN. America's top five deadliest cities. Okay, uh, we got some cities in here, all right. Just five of them, information received. And uh, strap in for these comments. Happy Kwanzaa! Didn't do nothings. By Obamalicious. Obviously the FBI crime stats are racist. There is a solution. Stop the social experiment. The police in all these cities know who the criminals are. Just need a few laws changed to allow them to function as they were 70 years ago. I'll give you one guess what the common denominator is in all five cities. Hint, it isn't the Amish. There are many Dota checks in these cities. I don't know what that means, but that's probably racist. The chunkers of spe- Uh, yep, that's definitely racist. The more that die in those cities, the better off the world is. Notice the racial makeup of these cities. That's racist. Nobody likes a Monday. Oh, well, that's just someone saying that nobody likes a mo Wait a second, let me Google that. Yep, 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 that's racist too. Son of a bitch. All overrun by Democrats and Africans. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All black. Goddamn, that's a lot of racism. Well, I better connect to nordvpn.com slash big money. Let's see, do they have an African server? Cool. All right, well, get her done. Here's my comment. Hola, bug chaser Salvia here. I'm quite possibly the sickest person on the planet and I'm coming for you. Being within 10 feet of me is like running a marathon in China without a face mask. Better not let me in, assholes, or I'm gonna start sneezing on all your shit. I'm gonna get your children so sick they have to drop out of school, which probably means they'll live longer considering how many of you fat American fucks still keep your guns unlocked and raise little psychos who don't understand how to get bullied without murdering everyone in the class. I'm not doing this for any political reason, by the way. I just hate being healthy. Not as much as you guys hate black people, though. But hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, which I'm guessing in your case, the boat would be Amistad? Not that I expect you to get that joke, because the only history books you read were written by Bill O'Reilly when he wasn't busy loading vibrators up his ass like a human Pez dispenser while some poor secretary had to listen on the phone. You ain't gonna get that joke either, because this whole comment is in Spanish. And Google Translate. And here's two little Rosetta Stones with a big old penis coming out of it. <laughs> and post. There we go. They'll never know who left that comment, except for the fact that I, I filmed myself leaving it, but nobody's gonna know who the fuck you are when you go to nordvpn.com slash big money for 70% off a three year plan. Plus one month free when you use coupon code big money. Moving along, every now and then you find a topic that everyone hates so much that it creates a herd immunity to politics. The Goop Lab with Gwyneth Paltrow. So what happens in a workshop? Everyone gets off. <sighs> 
What the fuck are you doing to people? <laughs> Not in my goop. Scientifically unproven, the show. I recommend everyone get a VPN and pirate instead. Whoa, whoa that's not what you do with VPNs. <laughs> I had an exorcism. Oh, wow. I went through years of therapy in about five hours. Gwyneth Paltrow is short, like, shorter than a gnome. Nah, she's a scam artist. So Netflix is running infomercials for fake medicine scams now. Time to unsubscribe. We were about to get Netflix in my household, not anymore. We don't support pseudoscience and con artistry. Time to cancel my Netflix subscription. This is dangerous. It's unregulated. Should I be scared? This is demonic. I don't know if they know it, but they're playing with the devil here. Wow, might actually have to cancel my Netflix for making ads for scams. Damn, I'm seriously considering canceling my Netflix subscription. This show is for Karens. And just cancel my subscription. I will tell my friend to tell his friend to unsubscribe to Netflix. Well, as you can see, Netflix really fucked up on this one. Everybody hates goop, even if it is for slightly different reasons. But we're all still here, together. And I hope you can see how that leads to friendliness, which, come on, isn't that something you want to see every now and then on the internet? Well, if so, you're going to love this comment. Yo, Netflix has the best health shows. I just got done watching Butt Hymen Rejuvenation at Home with Oliver Platt. And man, they must have paid Oliver Platt so much money to be in this shit. My favorite part was the eight minute continuous take in episode three where Oliver Platt's chair blows up and he has to rejuvenate his butt hymen with a spoon and an old watch before God finds out. Listen, if you think this goop show is bad, you're going to hate the other Netflix documentary called Live Forever, Eat Like a Bitch. And it's all about eating like a bitch and never doing anything tasty and you'll live to be 200 years old. Pretty sure if I live 200 years without a hoagie, I'd become a serial killer, so no thank you. I'll stick to what I learned from Goop, which is to simply throw all of my money at insane treatments to keep whatever's left of my youth intact. If I have to, I'll start a GoFundMe saying that my kid got in a car accident and then get celebrities to retweet it by pestering them with paid sock puppet accounts. And when it hits the goal, I'm gonna spend it all on de-aging uterus face masks from Goop. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work and I have to go drink some kid's blood or some shit, I don't know, whatever the Clintons do with them. But I'm out of here, cause I just popped a nut, sorry. <laughs> and post. Oh no, I made it political again. Oh my god, dude, I gotta leave YouTube. I'm too, way too much of a liability on here. Let's see if we can avoid politics somewhere else, like Twitter? I mean, look at this, it's kinda everywhere, but what if we muted all this shit, huh? Check this out, we have muted words and uh, just paste. That is literally every political word that exists in the English language. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and behold, a Twitter without politics. Ah, uh, it's, it's just James Corden tweets. I don't even follow him. And the only hashtag is K-pop. All right, well, I hate Twitter now, so uh, I guess the only website we have left to not be political on is Reddit. And that's a good thing. Here's r slash videos, and believe it or not, they actually have a no politics rule built into this subreddit. Well, let's see what's up at the top here. John F. Kennedy's private phone call chewing out a military officer because the Air Force purchased a $5,000 crib for his baby. Uh-oh. Very libertarian of him. Wait until he hears about Trump's golf trips. I'm sure he has an open mind now. Ooh. Meanwhile, our current president has spent over 200 million in taxpayer money on golf trips just in his first term, a term that still isn't over yet. How embarrassing to have gone from JFK to Donald Trump Oh. JFK was as much of an embarrassment as Trump. The press just liked him more. He was killed and you've had a few decades to forget his garbage. God damn it. Maybe there is no avoiding politics online. Maybe, maybe I, I didn't make this video in time to help anyone. Are we all infected? I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I, I've been trying to avoid this, but if we're all infected, then I don't know what I'm doing telling jokes. I should be talking about politics. Hello everyone and welcome to my politics show. As you may know, we have a lot to cover today, so why don't we take a look at the top items on politico.com. Oops, stupid autocorrect. Wait a second. The fuck is this? SpongeNob Square Nuts blowjob? You want me to do what, SpongeNob? Give me a sponge, baby, Sandy. Holy shit. How are we gonna do this? I mean, I can't breathe underwater. Well, lucky for you, Sandy, I'm a sponge. I'm filled with air. So if you keep on sucking on me, you'll be able to breathe. Oh. Well, 
Alrighty then, let's get her done. <laughs> you said that thing that unfunny comedian said. Uh, this is pretty good. Wait till Mr. Krabs hears about this. <laughs> oh man, oh, uh, what, what was I doing? Oh right, I was looking at comments. I think I'm on the wrong episode. I want to die. Could somebody please run me over with a train? This isn't Fortnite. Um, where's Gary? Um, where's my dad? Yes! Yes! That laugh made me nut immediately. Why did I even look this up? I can't believe that this was the video that started me off watching porn. The manga was better. Why isn't his cock yellow? Oh, these comments are amazing! Misty and Pikachu take on Ash's Pokeballs. Diga, diga. Diga, diga, diga. Diga. Diga, chu. Diga, chu, diga, chu. Diga, diga, diga. Diga, chu. Diga, chu, diga, chu. Diga, diga. Diga, diga. Wow, diga, chu. Thanks. What did she say? Oh, that I just have like a really big dick. Like, I came, but then I thought to myself, did I really? Master Wayne doesn't know that I watched this on the bat computer. Ooh! Ooh! <coughs> yes! Fortnite, try not to come challenge. Oh, good! Bro, it actually worked, thanks. Is it just me or it hurts when I- Oh, the fuck is sexy about feet? I jeezed right at the end, it really worked. Thanks for the perfect timing. It's women with dick. Yes! This is it! This is the cure! Tugrats! Uh-oh. Phil and Lil, stop arguing about gangbangs already. At this point, I don't give a shit. Bro, I wagged my dick off so hard to this. Oh, I'm being healed, Jesus! R.I.P. Anthony Bourdain. I gotta be honest, I'm 12 and I wanna suck at tits. Hey kid, it's me, your history class stress stream. Don't fail your test tomorrow. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna come. Fucking disgusting, they ain't even related. Ugh. Oh, I gotta get out of this stupid fucking suit. What is this shit behind me? Get out of here. Get out of here, stupid politics. Wow, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. The answer is porn. That's how you avoid politics when you want to break a fever. I guess I don't need to do a politics show after all. Not when I can leave a comment on this 3D animation of a dude getting blown by the ring girl through a TV. Yep, my mind is just blank right now. This is great. Yeah. Yep, 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 here's my comment. I swear I busted so many nuts to this, I started channeling future nuts that my balls haven't even generated yet. CERN needs to come over here and fire some particles through my dick because I'm pretty sure there's a black hole in there where all my jizz used to be. Speaking of pure bliss, it's so nice to see a place on the internet where nobody's making anything about themselves or their agendas. We spend our time in this connected plane of existence, discussing the worst in each other, picking at faults, and counting points for all the times we draw blood. But the truth is we're all alone and anonymous. There's no way you can know everyone you talk to online, so we talk to each other as strangers, ripping each other's throats out at the behest of people we want in charge of protecting everyone. Next time you find yourself ready to spend hours and hours angrily trying to change some stranger's mind in a Reddit comment section, maybe stop for a minute and think, hey, what if I jerk off instead? And that, my friends, is the cure to this illness. I promise your mind and soul will be healed and you will head back to the skullduggery of the internet fully vaccinated against such worries and heartbreak, dog whistles and dog piles. Forever may you stay calm and just realize that the only opinions you should ever care about are the ones of the people you know outside this jerking off hub we call the internet. God bless pornography and God bless America. And post. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like I hit the character limit like way early on in that comment. Lost a lot of stuff there. That's okay, though. I still had a lot of fun avoiding politics with all of you. Hope you're all feeling better. And now that I know the cure to this illness, I can get as sick as I want. Hello, Batman. What? What you mean? Vote for Joe Stein, brother. Eric, did you hear about Kirk Douglas? Huh? Oh, God damn. Dude, leave me alone. Yeah, he passed away. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't know who that is either. Well, then wait. Why? Leave me alone. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. So we've got an adult in the middle of the table asking us how to close it fucking closes. ports. And now you're asking us who oh. we're voting for. Yes. What the fuck are you doing here? Perhaps Coca isn't for me after all. What's this guy doing in the middle of the table? Oh shit! Big money, Sylvia, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Big money, Sylvia. Uh, big money. Money, money, money.